It's deep. And it's gone! Dee Gordon has hit it out. A home run does not usually bring a ball player to tears, but tonight's game honors the memory of Jose Fernandez. Leadoff hitter Dee Gordon first entered the batter's box, hit, box hitting right-handed in honor of his friend. Fernandez and two of his friends died in a boating accident yesterday morning, and not a dry eye in Marlins Park tonight. CBS4 brings you extended team coverage on this emotional night. Let's begin with CBS4 sports anchor Jim Barry, live from Marlins Park. Jim. Ruta Bay, in one word, what we saw tonight was simply unbelievable. The mood was somber, but the tone seemed exactly right. Yes, the Marlins beat the Mets 7-3. They beat uh, their opponents tonight, but clearly they were playing for Jose Fernandez, and you could see it and feel it in their hearts. The Marlins came to the ballpark with Jose Fernandez in their hearts. I'm physically unwilling to use the past tense. It's what he means to this franchise. When generations of people come to Marlins games, they'll always know that Jose was a Marlin. It was time to resume their baseball routine. Only nothing was routine. There's really no way to, no real way to handle this other than the way you, whatever you feel is whatever you feel. And, and we just, we deal with that and kind of rely on each other. Come game time, the crowd rippled when it realized every Marlin tonight was wearing number 16, like Jose. Then the starting lineup took the field, mimicking Jose's routine, and fought back tears during a moment of silence that was truly that. Finally, a trumpet brought us back to baseball. Rival New York Mets joined in the tribute before leaving the Marlins to their own solace. Then the Fernandezes played with Jose's fire. D. Gordon led off by slugging his first home run. His emotions raw. Gone! And later, stocky Justin Bohr legs out a triple, prompting smiles, a sign that in the dugout, Jose's spirit was alive and well. Now, we spoke to D. Gordon, who clearly was the most emotional Marlins player tonight. Right after the game, he said that leadoff home run he hit was the best moment he has ever had in this sport. And speaking of moments, wow, right after this victory was in the books, all of the Marlins, the entire team, went out to the mound. And, of course, they paid tribute to Jose Fernandez. They all gathered. They knelt in a circle. Uh, Don Manningly, the manager, actually kissed the mound. So emotional. And the fans here, about 27,000-plus, we're joining in the, the celebration of Jose Fernandez's life and the tribute to Jose. Clearly, he is gone, but obviously, he will never be forgotten by this team or these fans. We'll have more coming up in sports. Till then, live at Marlins Park, I'm Jim Barry, CBS 4 Sports.